The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia was established in September 1932 by King Abdulaziz. Saudi Arabia, covering 2.14 million square kilometers, is the 14th largest country in the world, with less than 150 millimeters of annual rainfall. Saudi Arabia is one of the few countries without permanent rivers. Despite this, there is an active agricultural sector in the desert with a network of fields that allow for the growth of a wide range of crops and fruits. This sector has grown significantly, as there were only 400 square kilometers of fertile land in the early 1960s. However, before we begin our video, we'd greatly appreciate it if you subscribe to our YouTube channel and also press the bell icon. Let's get started. The transformation of the desert into a green forest in Saudi Arabia is certainly impressive. Arable land in Saudi Arabia was 1.60 as of 2022. Its highest value over the past 57 years was 1.71 in 1993, while its lowest value was 0.53 in 1961. The methods used to achieve this expansion are not entirely clear. Additionally, government initiatives and investments in the agriculture sector may also have contributed to the expansion. This is remarkable, considering the country holds the most oil reserves of any country on the planet. Oil was first discovered in Saudi Arabia in 1938 in the Daman oil field, and the country now holds 17% of the world's proven petroleum reserves. Saudi Arabia has made significant progress in agriculture over the last 30 years, despite its arid climate with an average of just 4 inches of rain per year, one of the lowest in the world. Water scarcity is also a challenge in Saudi Arabia, where a liter of drinkable water costs more than a liter of oil. The Gawar oil field in Saudi Arabia is the largest oil resource in the world. This equates to enough reserves to fill 4,770,897 Olympic-sized swimming pools. The country has managed to develop a successful agriculture sector and exports a variety of products such as wheat, dairy products, vegetables, eggs, fish, poultry, fruits and flowers to international markets. Dates, which were traditionally a staple food in Saudi Arabia, are now mostly grown for export and humanitarian aid to other countries. In the 1970s, the government began implementing programs to promote modern farming technologies and rural infrastructure development. These initiatives helped to improve irrigation and water management systems, allowing for the cultivation of crops in areas previously unsuitable for agriculture. Additionally, the government invested in research and development to develop new crop varieties that could survive in the desert climate. Furthermore, the government encouraged private sector investment in agriculture by providing subsidies and incentives to farmers. This combination of government support and private sector investment led to the expansion of agriculture in Saudi Arabia, which now includes a wide range of crops and products that were not previously produced in the region. The country is now self-sufficient in a number of staple foods, including meat, milks and eggs. This has led to a corresponding decrease in food imports and an increase in food exports, as Saudi Arabia now exports a wide range of products including wheat, dates, dairy products, eggs, fish, chicken and other items to markets across the world. In the early years of the program, intensive dairy, meat, poultry and egg production were established, and by 1985, local farms were already meeting domestic demand for many items that were previously imported. Saudi Arabia has made significant strides in agricultural development over the past few decades, particularly in the areas of milk and fish production. The country boasts one of the highest milk production rates in the world, at 1,800 gallons per cow, and aquaculture is a rapidly growing industry, with a steady rise in the number of fish farms, both in the sea and on land, located primarily on the Red Sea coast. Shrimp farming has also been a great success, with the shrimp being mostly exported to the US and Japan by Saudi Arabia's national shrimp company Al Rubian. One of the most notable achievements in Saudi Arabia's agricultural history is its transition from a wheat importer to a wheat exporter. The country built its first grain silos in 1978 and became self-sufficient in wheat by 1984. Saudi Arabia has managed to transform its desert landscape into a thriving agricultural network through a combination of government programs, promoting modern farming technologies and rural infrastructure development, increased investment in intensive dairy, meat, poultry and egg production, and shrimp farming. The country has become self-sufficient in many staple foods and now exports a wide variety of products including wheat, dates, dairy products, eggs, fish, poultry, 
fruits and vegetables to international markets. And Saudi Arabia is now known for its highly advanced and efficient agricultural practices. As a result of advancements in agriculture in Saudi Arabia, a variety of tropical fruits such as pineapples, papayas, mangoes and guavas, the well-watered southwest region of the country. This has led to the availability of a diverse range of indigenous cuisines that were previously unimaginable. Dates, which were once a primary source of nutrition for Saudi Arabians, are now mostly used for humanitarian aid around the world. Around half a million tons of dates are produced annually. These factories donate tens of thousands of tons of dates to alleviate famine and food shortages, mainly through the United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization's World Food Programme. Through this programme, many countries have benefited directly from Saudi Arabia's food aid. Government programs such as interest-free loans and technical support have played a critical role in the growth of Saudi Arabia's agricultural sector. The Ministry of Agriculture is responsible for implementing agricultural policies and provides research and extension services to farmers. The Saudi Agricultural Bank offers subsidies and interest-free loans, and the Grain Silos and Flour Mills Organization, established in 1972, is responsible for buying and storing wheat building flour mills. Saudi Arabia has implemented various measures to support and improve its agricultural sector. These include providing interest-free loans and technical support, as well as offering incentives such as tax exemptions and duty-free imports of raw materials and machinery for foreign joint venture partners. Additionally, the government has invested in modernizing transportation infrastructure to connect agricultural regions to major markets and funds research programs to increase crop yields and develop new pest-resistant strains. It's important to note that Saudi Arabia isn't the world's largest country. It's the 13th largest country in the world in terms of total land area. The Rub al Khali, also known as the Empty Quarter, is one of the largest sand deserts in the world. It's known for its vast expanses of sand dunes, some reaching heights of over 300 meters, and its harsh desert conditions. To address the issue of limited water resources, the government has implemented various measures such as drilling deep tube wells and implementing desalination plants to convert seawater into potable water. As a result, Saudi Arabia is now one of the leading producers of desalinated water in the world. Despite these efforts, water scarcity remains a pressing issue in the country and continues to be a major challenge for its economic and social development. To ensure an adequate water supply for its growing needs, the Saudi Arabian government has explored various methods of water provision. Additionally, desalination of seawater is widely used as a means of obtaining potable water. As a result, Saudi Arabia is the world's leading producer of desalinated water.